Voki is an online Flash-based resource that's free for creating your own avatar. If you click on Create Your Own Voki, up will come a Flash movie with the interface. You can create a speaking avatar. You can upload your own voice here from an audio file. You can record straight into Voki with a microphone, but I found on the whole this doesn't work uh, behind some uh, learning platforms. You can type or cut and paste text to speech, or you could use a mobile phone. Uh, what you're presented with is the interface for creating a new avatar. Here we've got a monkey. It could be uh, any number of things. If I click on this Choose Your Character box, you can see there are a number of different types uh, of character. And you can either choose one or you can actually randomize the character in the box by clicking on the die. Now at the moment it's randomizing and I can then tweak that character. I could uh, make the mouth smaller, the nose bigger. In this case that doesn't do much. Make the body larger, the height of the head and the width of the head larger. And then I can actually change the different clothes they're wearing, depending on the choices. And I can put on a hat, if I so choose. And I can take off the glasses. And all sorts of things. When I'm happy with the character I've chosen, or made, I can click on Done. And then I can click on type or record or upload a piece of speech. And when you've done that, you can click on the play button here. Hi, I'm a Vokey character. And you can change the types of voices. You can make them male or female. You can change the accents, which is quite interesting. And uh, several other things. When you're happy with that, you can click on Done. And you can put a background in of your choice. Let's choose something simple like nightlife, possibly. Put in a building behind. Yeah, disco ball. <laughs> okay, when you're happy with that, click on Done. And here's the interesting bit. You can publish. Now, Voki will ask you for details, but you don't have to put them in. And this is why it's so good because basically it then creates your character on the online server but you don't have to fill your details in you can just say no thanks and it'll save your scene and it will give you an embed code this bit here is the embed code now this is the useful bit because you can actually copy the embed code by clicking on the button this creates an embed code and you can use this embed code in almost any web page that allows embedding. So here you can see MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, Friendster, Orkut, Bebo, WordPress, Blogger, and it goes on and on and on. That's the generic embed code. You can get a standard Voki link. If you click on that, it gives you a link here at the bottom. And uh, if I copy that link, and bring up a new tab and paste it in. You can see it'll paste in the character into the link. But it won't embed it, it'll just embed it in that web page. Hi, I'm a Voki character. 
What we need to do now is take this link, this embed code, and put it in uh, VLE. Go to copy the embed code again, which highlights and copies the code. Then we're going to go over to uh, the VLE. Here's one I've been working with. Um, this particular VLE is uh, Uniservity, but it could be anything uh, anywhere. And I'm going to click on the new page and I'm going to embed the HTML for the Flash movie in the web page. Not as hard as it might seem. I click on this edit button and remember this is just for Uniservity. It'll be different for different VLEs. This is usually a standard VLE. Um, what you see is what you get, your WYSIWYG box. And at the end here there's a less than and greater than um, symbol and that says view edit source and that's where I'm going to paste the actual code in. If I were typing into the page I'd type here hello this is an example of a Voki character. Now that would come up as text but if I want to put the embed code in and embed the Voki character in I click here Another box comes up, and in here, I just paste in the code, apply it, say OK, and then I can scroll down, and I can actually submit the page, and you will see in a second, the character should appear there. Yeah, there's the character appearing at the very bottom there in my page and if I then click on the actual page in the VLE that people will see up comes here is an example of the Voki character and underneath it is the character. Hi I'm a Voki character. There are lots of other things you can do with Voki. You can take a screenshot and you can then get the pupils to write in a description of the character in Word with the screenshot and then copy the description back into the Voki character. Um, I'll give you an example of that. Here are a couple of examples of uh, pupils I've been working with who have actually done that. Um, if we come down here, Cutie Koala this is exactly the thing that's been done by this pupil. They've taken a screenshot of their Voki, put it into Word, and then written the description about themselves in Word, then cut and pasted that into the Voki and have Voki speak as the character. My name is Cutie Koala. My eyes are the cutest in the whole of Australia. They are as deep as the sea. My ears are the biggest in the whole world. My nose is the shiniest, most black one in the whole of Australasia. My voice is pretty posh, one of the best in Australia. You might think I am conceited, but I am not. I love going to trips in the outback. I've got a lucky backpack. Unfortunately, I have to limp because I have a bad leg. And that's a quick and simple way of making a Voki character and embedding it in any web page.